Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Declarative Academy, your go-to channel for all things Salesforce Trailhead. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our growing community of Salesforce Trailblazers. Today, we're diving into the Trailhead module, Visualize Success with Path and Kanban. Whether you're just starting out or aiming for certification, we'll walk through this together, step by step. Before we jump in, let's look at what we'll cover today. By the end of this unit, you'll know how to update a record stage or status using Path, update records directly in the Kanban view, and use filters and charts within Kanban to get the insights you need. These skills will help you track deals and manage your pipeline more effectively. Let's start with Path. Path is a simple yet powerful tool that guides you through a sales process. When you open a lead or opportunity, Path shows you exactly where that record is in your sales journey. Think of it as a visual roadmap that tells you, hey, you're here, and this is what's next. It highlights key fields so you don't have to hunt for important details and it provides guidance for success at each step. For example, if you're new to a role, Path can offer tips on what to do next so you don't miss any critical actions. Using Path to update a record is straightforward. If you're ready to move forward, simply click Mark Status as Complete to move the record to the next step on the path. But what if your deal stalls or speeds up unexpectedly? No problem. Just click the step on the path you want to switch to and then click Mark Current Status. It's flexible, allowing you to adjust the status as needed. This feature saves time and keeps your process visual and interactive, reducing the need to dig through menus for updates. While creating a path is typically done by your Salesforce admin, it's good to understand the basics. In Setup, you can enable path, create a new path by selecting the object, record type, and defining key fields. Success guidance can be entered for each step, providing tailored tips. Once set up and activated, you'll see these paths in action on your records, guiding your daily tasks. Now, let's switch gears to the Kanban view, a big picture, visual way to manage opportunities. Picture Kanban like a digital bulletin board with columns. Each column usually represents a stage in your sales process. You can easily see where all your deals are, sort them, filter them, and even move them along your pipeline. It's like organizing sticky notes on a whiteboard, but much more powerful. Let's see Kanban in action. First, navigate to the Opportunities tab and select the All Opportunities list view. Then, from the list view dropdown, switch to Kanban. Here's how you move an opportunity to the next stage. Click on a deal card, hold the mouse button down, drag the card to the next column and release. It updates the stage automatically, neat and simple. Dragging and dropping feels intuitive, almost like reorganizing tasks on a desk. It makes updating your pipeline quick and engaging. But Kanban isn't just for moving cards. Click the down arrow on any card to edit details right there. You can update fields, change the owner, or even delete a record without leaving the board. This inline editing saves time and keeps your focus on managing deals efficiently. Kanban also lets you visualize your data with charts. Click Show Charts to display a graph summarizing your list view data. For instance, you can select Pipeline by Account to see which accounts bring in the most business, or pipeline by stage to view the distribution of deals across stages. Hover over the chart sections for more details. This visual insight helps you spot trends and bottlenecks at a glance. When you have lots of deals, filters become your best friend. To narrow down your view, click Show Filters, then Add Filter. For example, Set a filter to show only opportunities with an account name containing United Oil. Click Done, then Save, and now you'll see only those deals. Once you're finished, remember to clear filters by clicking Remove All and Saving again. Filters help you focus on what's important, whether it's a specific customer or a certain stage in the process. 
By default, Kanban groups opportunities by stage and summarizes amounts, but you can customize this. Click the list display icon, select Kanban, then go to list view controls and choose Kanban settings. Change, summarize by to expected revenue and group by to type, then click save. Now, your columns represent different opportunity types with summaries based on expected revenue. Quick note, customizing the view allows you to see the information most relevant to your sales strategy at a glance. Before we wrap up, let's tackle the quiz questions from this module to test your understanding. I'll read each question, go through the options, and explain why the correct answer fits best. Quiz question one. Which of these actions isn't a valid way to update the status of a lead? A. In path, click mark status as complete. B. Click the desired step on the path, then click mark current status. View the lead record, click edit, and change the status field. C. Change the Kanban settings group, by to status. Drag the record to a different column. D. In any list view, click shuffle to change up every record status. The correct answer is D. In any list view, click shuffle to change up every record status. Options A and B are valid methods for updating a lead status using path. Option C, though a bit unconventional, involves changing the grouping in Kanban and dragging a record, which can update status if columns represent stages. However, option D refers to a shuffle button in a list view, which simply doesn't exist in Salesforce. Therefore, D is not a valid action. Question two, you have a dozen open opportunities from different companies, but when you check the Kanban view of your all open opportunities list, you only see opportunities for one account. What should you do? A, panic. B, select a different list view, such as recently viewed. C, check the filter panel to see if records are being filtered out. D, use the search box to search for the opportunities that went missing. E, try to attract more opportunities by leaving a bowl of candy on your desk overnight. The correct answer is C, check the filter panel to see if records are being filtered out. When the Kanban view isn't showing all your opportunities, the most logical step is to verify if any filters are narrowing down your view. Option C advises checking the filter panel, which is the right approach. Options A and E are humorous, but not helpful. While B and D might sometimes help, they don't address the root cause as directly as checking filters. Thus, C is the best action to take. So there you have it. Path and Kanban are fantastic tools for visualizing and managing your sales pipeline. Path guides you through each stage with clear indicators and guidance, while Kanban provides a dynamic, visual workspace to manage your opportunities, complete with filters, charts, and custom settings. These features help you stay organized, updated, and ready to close deals effectively. I hope this walkthrough has made using Path and Kanban in Salesforce clear and approachable. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the Declarative Academy, and leave any questions or thoughts in the comments below. Your feedback helps shape future content and support others in their Salesforce journey. Thanks for watching, and until next time, visualize your success, keep those deals moving, and happy selling. Cheers.